welcome to my channel. Today I have this a peony piece which I'm going to do in watercolours because I recently got this Daniel Smith uh, Primatech Road Night Genuine watercolour paint. Now it's a beautiful pink colour. I got it because um, I saw on Doodle Date when they got their full set. I saw the pink one and I just fell in love with it. But the problem I've had recently is because it is so expensive, because Daniel Smith paints are like the Gucci of the paint world, um, I've been putting off using it, <laughs> which I know sounds ridiculous, um, but because I think it's just because I don't want to waste it. So I've sketched out these peonies and I'm going to paint them in with a mixture of that and some of my M. Graham watercolour paints. Um, the Daniel Smith ones are a lot different to the M. Graham ones that I've been used to because the M. Graham ones are mixed with honey and they don't they don't really set down. They sort of they always stay tacky. Whereas the Daniel Smith ones they, they set like a rock. <laughs> um, they reactivate really well, but they they are just one hundred and ten percent completely and utterly set. Like there there's no stickiness to them whatsoever, uh, which is good for me because I always end up putting my elbow in my paint. Um, yeah, not fun when you're wandering around downstairs and all of a sudden you realise you've left sap green over half of your house. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what I can do with it. It's supposed to have like a lot of granulation effect, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then debating on whether or not I feel like it, I might fill the background in with black ink to make it pop a bit more. Um, and I might go over and line them with the Copic multi-liner that I got in the squalor box that I just did. Um, I really like the way that sort of tattoo peonies look, um, so I might go with that. But here we are, we shall see. I shall crack on into it.
this ink is now finally dry. <laughs> I was gonna head into inking it earlier and then it was still sticky and I was like, oh, I don't want any of that in my life. Um, so here we go. So dug out the uh, Copic Multi Liner. I thought the wine color would go nice with the pink. I really like some of the granulation, especially around here and the way that the colors have bled into each other. Also got out the Derwent paint pen, definitely a lot better for gunkiness um, than the Unipol Signal one, although I do still prefer the texture of the Unipol Signal one. So it's a bit hit and miss, but for this, uh, this will be perfect over the top of the watercolour. I also had to pin down the painting as it kept, the paper kept warping when I was using my heat tool. I mean, it's a watercolour pad by Arteza, so it's designed for wet medium but I find that when you use the heat tool and you don't have it sort of penned down, it can bubble up a little bit, um, but it's still pretty flat. So yeah, but I really do like that Daniel Smith paint. It's especially the way that it's just kind of billowed out. It's just beautiful. So yeah. <laughs>